Okay, so okay. hey guys, welcome back to another predictions video. And in today's video, I'm be predicting the Fleming versus Suarez fight. If you are new around here though and you haven't subscribed, please do so. Like the video if you're doing like video, and let's get straight into it. So, going into this fight, Fleming is 28 0 1 with 18 KOs, and Suarez is 14 0 with 8 KOs. This fight is for the vacant IBF and IBO Intercontinental. WBA Oceana and WBC Asian Super Featherweight titles. Fleming's last fight was a win via unanimous decision versus England. Suarez's last fight was a win via TKO in round 2 versus Palulu. Both fighters are 34, so both in the older part of their career. I mean, of course, Suarez hasn't been around the professional side of things for a, a crazily long time and he was kind of the older fighter in the amateurs, especially on the later side of the amateurs for him, but he did have a very decorated uh, amateur record, fought some very good fighters, fought Lomachenko and I believe Joe Cordina. I don't think he won versus either of them, but still did get some big wins in there as well. This fight is in Fleming's home country. Fleming is an experienced southpaw. He is arguably the best southpaw in Australia currently. I don't know. Maybe I'm missing somebody. I feel like I'm probably missing somebody, but he is a very good southpaw. Fleming is a fast, powerful counterpuncher that has large hooks, likes to fight on the inside, and is got good conditioning. Uh, Fleming can be caught flat-footed and does take punishment. He invites pressure, doesn't use a jab load, doesn't have the greatest of movement, and will stand toe-to-toe. -to -toe. So, I mean, positives and negatives there. The flat-footedness is what, from what I've seen, what got him... Uh, suffering a knockdown in his last fight versus England and of course he does take that punishment I feel like that fight versus England was a closer fight than what probably the scorecards may have said it was the, he does invite the pressure and that is opening his counters which he does have very good counters uh, but yeah he doesn't overly use the jab much and he wants to be fighting on the inside Suarez is a fast powerful fighter with looping hooks he puts all into his fights and he has good combinations. I haven't seen a crazy amount of footage from the professional side of things for Suarez, but uh, the amateur side of things I've seen a bit, and he does, like I said, have the looping hooks. He does arguably have better combinations than what Fleming has. Uh, of course, he, like I said, he puts his all into a fight. You're never going to see him not put everything into a fight from what I have seen. Uh, the, the power is definitely still there with both fighters powerful uh, Suarez though is used to being the smaller fighter so he's going to be a smaller fighter again here to, uh, for this fight and he's of course like I said used to that he isn't overly attacking so he will somewhat invite pressure as well looks for one big punch at times he does which isn't always the best because I mean obviously he, he has very good power. I don't know about the one-punch knockout power, but he does sometimes look for that. He is a bit of a slow starter, but when he gets going, he's going, and he's properly going for it, uh, and likes to fight at mid-range compared to Fleming fighting at maybe a closer range, uh, but will also go toe-to-toe -to -toe with you as well. So I would say, and compare the two fighters quite similarly, they both, like I said, they're powerful, they're fast, they want to stand toe-to-toe, -to -toe. they're going to swing big, hooks and looping hooks and just big punches are going to be thrown and it probably will be a war with this fight and I don't think either of them are going to use the jab that much it'll be interesting to see where Suarez is going to if he's going to be able to find his range that he's going to probably want to but we'll wait you'll have to wait and see with that one uh, I think Fleming Suarez probably has better movement a little bit more than Fleming and I think Suarez is going into more the kind of prime of his career even though they are at a similar age uh, then compared to Fleming and it'll be interesting to see if they are going to test each other's chins who's going to have the better chin I mean like I said from what we've seen Fleming can get caught with punches and he does get knocked down obviously that also can play be, be a factor from his footwork and like I said his footwork and it but it also could be down to his chin it will be interesting to see that as they're both 34 uh, if they can still hold up getting punched by big bombs in the face constantly uh, but we'll have to wait and see that's what makes this fight interesting as well uh, neither fighter are overly technical from what I've seen uh, like I said a, a lot of attributes there and the fact that they're not overly technical but they will make a good fight of it 
and that's what's something I'm excited for for this fight. Fleming is the favourite toward this fight, and I think that Suarez will win via TKO in round 10. Uh, I think Fleming arguably has better conditioning, but I think if Fleming is going to try and stand there with Suarez, I think Suarez probably has the better power, and that's what I think is going to be able to get him through. But I think Fleming could score a knockdown himself, or he could just be being maybe more dominant they're both kind of counter punches Fleming's arguably more the counter punches Suarez will just kind of come on in flurries and throw his combinations and I think them combinations might be ending up too much for Fleming with the power alongside and I think Suarez will be able to win and keep on this run of his going uh, and then I mean you're probably going to be wanting to go maybe top five rankings for the mandate uh, for the bodies governing bodies uh, and I mean I've put two fighters here uh, Barrett that's a possible opponent if he beats his uh, opponent I can't remember who he's fighting uh, but I know he has a fight announced and Agawa obviously he suffered a big defeat I don't know if he's got a fight announced or anything like that but if he wants to have a, another big fight and come back into a big fight and that's another option and I think either of them two will be probably a good next level up from Fleming uh, but yeah we'll have to see what happens with that and yeah if you're new around here and you haven't subscribed please do so like if you need like this and thanks for watching